How's it going, fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? Today we're going to talk about a special player. He's supposed to go first overall in the 2022 draft and being talked about as the best prospect since Austin Matthews and Connor McDavid. He broke Connor McDavid's rookie points per game record. He is one of the few to ever get exceptional status to join juniors a year sooner than his peers. We are talking about the young phenom, Shane Wright. Wright stands at 6 feet 1 inch, weighs in at 187 pounds. He only played in the World Junior 18 Championships last year because of COVID, where he recorded 9 goals, 5 assists for 14 points in 5 games played. So why is he being talked about as one of the best of the best? Well, besides breaking one of the top NHL players' records, Wright has a lot of other skills that are far and above his peers. For one, he is a leader. At the ripe young age of 15, he was named assistant captain of his junior team and reportedly was an effective leader in the locker room. And more importantly, has a team leader attitude and work ethic. I could go on and on about his exceptional skills. He has a hockey IQ well above his years that allows him to tear apart any team's defense and protect against most teams' offense. He has exceptional quickness that can put separation on most players and defensemen and a wicked release that will surprise most goalies, even in NHL. The only thing to write is that he will have to keep meeting those expectations, which are pretty high expectations, but he definitely seems like he can do it. This next season, people have him lined up to break Connor McDavid's total points in one season record in the CHL. All right, enough from me. Let's see what other people are saying about Wright. Here's what Ben Kerr from The Last Word on Sports had to say about Wright. It's easy to see why Wright is seen as a future franchise player. He can do it all on the ice. He is an outstanding skater with excellent speed, acceleration, agility, and balance. Wright combines that skating with all of the offensive skills one would want. His stick handling is top notch and he can make plays while moving at top speed. His shot is deadly accurate, has a ton of power, and he gets it off with a very quick release. Wright also has excellent vision and the ability to pass the puck through tight passing lanes. His hockey sense is excellent and he makes the right play without the puck. Once again, reiterating the feeling that Wright has it all as a prospect and no team is gonna pass over him. This is excerpts from what Craig Button has said about Wright from an article on NHL.com talking about him. What don't I like about Shane? Nothing, said Craig Button. TSN director of scouting, NHL analyst, and a former NHL general manager. If Wright was eligible for the 2021 NHL draft, he'd be the best player far and above. And I love Owen Power, chosen first overall by the Buffalo Sabres in the 2021 NHL draft. Boston Bruins captain Patrice Bergeron is an unbelievable player, a future Hall of Famer. When I'm comparing players, I'll sometimes say he's a lowercase Patrice Bergeron. But with Shane Wright, He's an uppercase Patrice Bergeron. He's brilliant and I'd put Shane Wright in the category of great because there's no part of the game where he doesn't excel. Once again, they're reiterating the same thing. He just doesn't do anything wrong. Now as a Red Wings fan, why should we want Wright? Aside from the obvious reason that he is right now the best prospect available of the most recent drafts. Well, Wright also fills a major organizational need and honestly probably the biggest one that doesn't have a prospect or prospects on the way. And that is the need for an elite number one center. We all love Larkin and I think he's going to have a jump in production this upcoming season, but having a center who is one of the best in the NHL at that position will take this team from good to great once all the prospects and most things pan out. If the Red Wings don't get lucky and miss out on the chance to draft Wright, which is more than likely with the way the last couple of drafts have gone, there is also another prospect in the 2023 draft that we will be hearing a lot of soon, and that is Connor Bedard. He is another top-notch center prospect, possibly being better than Wright. He had more points per game in his rookie season than Wright did, but they also didn't play in the same league, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you guys think of Shane Wright? What do you think the chances are the Remix end up drafting him? Let us know down below. We want to hear all your thoughts and opinions. If you like this video, go ahead and drop a like. That way we make more content that you like. And lastly, don't be afraid to subscribe. That way you get notified when we upload a video. And until next time, lights on the red light district.